All right, we're in section 4.5 of Al Grosch's book, Developmental Math 2. Today, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. So the first question is, how do we add and subtract polynomials? It's really not as complicated as it looks. We have, in this first example, a trinomial, which, if you remember from the last lesson, means it has three terms added to another trinomial, which has three terms. To add two polynomials together, and it really doesn't matter how many terms they have, when you are adding the polynomials together, all you have to do is drop the parentheses and combine like terms, and you can see that's what the author has written here for you, but I'm going to do it again over here. So we're just going to drop the parentheses, so we have 6x squared minus 2x minus 5 from the first trinomial, and that's going to be added to x squared minus 3x plus 4 from the second trinomial. And then we're going to look for the like terms. Uh, we're going to do this in descending order, which means that we look for the terms with the highest exponent first. That would be 6x squared plus 1x squared. We add the coefficients. Well, if you remember combining like terms, you add the coefficients. The variables and the exponents stay the same. So 6x squared plus 1x squared makes 7x squared. Then we have the x terms, negative 2x and negative 3x. They're both negative, so we get negative 5x. And then we have the constant terms, negative 5 plus positive 4 makes negative 1. So this is our new trinomial, and it's the sum of these two trinomials being added together. All right, in the second example, we have subtract, which is just a tad bit different from add. We have a trinomial, and we're subtracting from that trinomial a binomial, which means two terms. When we do subtract, this subtraction in the middle has to be distributed to the polynomial behind it, and we do that as we are dropping the parentheses. So this trinomial at the front is going to stay the same. 3x squared minus 4x plus 6, and then this negative or subtraction symbol is going to distribute, and that's going to change the signs. So we'll have negative 6x squared plus 7, because negative times positive gives us negative, negative times negative gives us positive, and now we just combine the like terms. So again, starting with the highest exponent, we have a positive 3x squared and a negative 6x squared make negative 3x squared. And then we have the x term. There's only one x term, so that's going to go next, negative 4x. And the constant terms, positive 7 and positive 6, make positive 13. So this is what we end up with, negative 3x squared minus 4x plus 13. So we have six examples on this page that we're going to go through, adding and subtracting polynomials. This first example, number one, is really just, uh, it, the directions just say simplify for all these examples. So combine like terms here. We have 5x squared plus 4x squared makes 9x squared. Then we have negative 3x and negative 7x, making negative 10x. And the constant term at the end plus 6. On number 2, we have more variables, so we're just looking through. It looks like we have some like terms here. Let's start with this one since it's the only one with a square on it. So we'll write this term first, and it has no like terms. Since none of these other terms say xy squared, there's no like terms. This term, though, 2xy and negative 2xy, these are like terms. Uh, but a positive 2 and a negative 2, when we get them to add together, they cancel each other. So those are disappearing now. These two terms are like terms. Negative 7 plus 3 makes a negative 4y. Number 3, now we have the parentheses in here showing us that we have a trinomial plus another trinomial. When you are adding, though, you just drop the parentheses and combine like terms. So we have x squared minus 5x minus 7 
plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 5. And we'll start with the terms that have the square, the highest exponent. 1x squared plus 3x squared makes 4x squared. Negative 5x plus 4x makes negative 1x. And then the constants. Negative 7 minus 5 makes negative 12. So number four, now we have a subtraction. When we have a subtraction, we have to distribute that subtraction to this polynomial, which is a trinomial behind it, and that will change the terms as we're dropping the parentheses. So this polynomial stays the same in the front. So we'll have negative 4x plus 6, and then we're going to distribute this. So negative times positive gives us negative 2x squared, Negative times negative gives us positive 6x squared. Negative times negative gives us positive 3. Now we just combine like terms, starting with the highest exponent, so we can write these in descending order. Negative 2x squared plus 6x squared makes positive 4x squared. Negative 4x does not have anything to combine with. There are no other x terms. So we'll leave that as negative 4x. And then the constant terms. Positive 6, positive 3, make positive 9. So 4x squared minus 4x plus 9. Okay, this one's even more complicated now. Um, to combine these like terms, we have to do this distribute. So it, the distribute here is the same as it was in the previous example, except now we're distributing a number with the minus sign here. This is a negative 5 being distributed here and a positive 3 being distributed here. So as we're dropping the parentheses, we'll distribute. So 3 times negative 2x makes negative 6x. 3 times 5 makes positive 15. Then we're going to distribute this negative 5 to this trinomial behind it. Negative 5 times 3x squared makes negative 15x squared. Negative 5 times negative 4x makes positive 20x. Negative times negative is positive. Negative 5 times negative 1 makes positive 5. Now we will combine like terms. So this is the only squared term. So that's going to be the lead term. And then we have the x terms, negative 6x and positive 20x, make positive 14x. And then the constant terms, positive 15 and positive 5, make positive 20. All right, the same thing is going on on number six here. We have to distribute what's in front of these parentheses as we drop the parentheses. So we're going to have x times 9x squared makes 9x cubed because, remember, you add the exponents when you multiply those variables. And this one on the outside has the invisible one on it. So x times negative x makes negative x squared x times 5 makes 5x. Then we're going to distribute this negative 2x. Negative 2x times 4x squared makes negative 8x cubed. Negative 2x times 3x makes negative 6x squared. Negative 2x times negative 6 makes positive 12x. And now we're going to combine like terms. Let's start with the cubes. 9x cubed minus 8x cubed is 1x cubed. Then the squares. Negative x squared, negative 6x squared makes negative 7x squared. Um, then the x terms. 5x and 12x makes 17x. And there are no constant terms this time. 